Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is your boy, D Crypto Siege, with another day in the life, in the crazy life that is the digital asset space. What's going on, guys? Good morning. Happy Wednesday to you. Listen, guys, this is your XRP Ripple Daily News from zero to 10 minutes. Let's do this. All right, so Ripple Partnership with UAE. Bank of for payments via Ripple Net, United Emirates. Right? So this is really, really exciting, guys. UAE Bank. Wow. So Ripple Inc.'s new partnership with UAE Bank for cross-border payment via Ripple Net. The UAE-based National Bank of Fujara, PJSC, said that it will use the Ripple Net platform for facilitating instant payment and settlement solutions to its customers. The MBF Bank has also partnered with India's uh, Induceling Bank to use this facility for its Indian customers. Wow. So in the latest development, blockchain startup Ripple has inked a new partnership with the UAE-based National Bank of Fujara. The announcement reads that the partnership aims to use Ripple's RippleNet payments network for instant cross-border payments and settlements. Details of partnership between Ripple and UAE Bank. Okay, so here are the details. MBF has said that it will use RippleNet for remittance payments for its Indian customers. For this project, the UAE Bank's bank will cooperate with India's Indus Lean or Indus, yeah, Indus Seen Bank. This will facilitate the UAE NBF customers to use Ripple blockchain powered network to facilitate instant payments. This is so massive. But we all know that a lot of people in, in, in the United Emirates, right in that area there, they, United Arab Emirates, they use uh, a lot of foreign um, workers, a lot of workers from India, different places go there to work. And so, you know, sending money back home is massive uh, for these people. So besides, it would also bring a cheaper and more transparent alternative for sending remittance payments to India. Guys, the writing is on the wall. XRP, the champ, is here, guys. Unbelievable. MBF, a Shara Law compliant bank, uh, offers retail and commercial banking services to its customers. Moreover, the bank has a huge pool of Indian customers with over 18 branches all across the UAE. Speaking upon the new partnership with Ripple, NBF CEO Vince Cook said that they aim to bring a frictionless experience for the customers. Additionally, RippleNet will help corporate clients to manage their finances efficiently. Guys, hashtag real use case, right? Hashtag XRP, hashtag the champ is here. It's just, it's... You just gotta listen to it. Just gotta listen and don't overthink it. Don't overthink this, guys. The champ is here. Unbelievable. Digitization remains a key catalyst for change. And as a customer first bank, we understand the importance of leveraging blockchain technology <laughs> to deliver seamless and frictionless experiences to our clients. RippleNet, not any other net, RippleNet will enable us to stimulate an enhanced payment experience that will allow our corporate clients to manage their finances in a more efficient way. The corporate clients, guys. We will always look for the next best thing for our customers as part of our commitment of being the best financial partner for their business and personal needs. XRP is the key to Ripple's profitability. This is another thing here. I read this quick. This is kind of, it's very, very, um, you know, I'll read it and let you guys kind of decide. Seems to be slanted a bit. But over the last two years, XRP is the key to Ripple's profitability. Over the last two years, Ripple has been making new and important partnerships with some of the established global institutions. However, a majority of these financial institutions aim to use Ripple's ex current payment solution. The X current solution uses only Ripple's blockchain network, but not its native cryptocurrency XRP. Now, this situation seems not so encouraging for the company, especially after Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghell said that XRP is the key to Ripple's profitability, right? You see the slant there? Recently, speaking of Financial Times, Garlinghouse said 
Ripple, that Ripple is currently cash positive. However, it stated that taking away the XRP revenue will make the company less profitable. Gone House admitted, uh, so less profitable, right? $10 billion valuation. So a little less profitable than $10 billion. <laughs> uh, evaluation. Garland has submitted that the majority of his company's profits come from by selling XRP. He did not say that to the majority. He did not say that. But anyway, well, XRP is one source. I, I don't know how to answer that because if you take away our software revenues, that would make us less profitable. If you took away all our XRP, that would make us less profitable, he said. However, he also stated that Ripple would still manage to stay cash positive without selling his XRP. Exactly, right? They shut down the OTC sales, right? And then, and then they got a $10 billion valuation, right? So this will come as a big surprise to the critics who have been doubting the company's operations and profitability for long. But the concern for Ripple is that XRP sales have dropped significantly over the last year. I don't think that's a concern. They stopped it intentionally. They stopped the selling. So that's not a concern. The other thing is that there is substantial criticism for Ripple, the company, for diluting its stake. Some experts say Ripple's continuous stake selling is preventing the extra prices very further. So we all know that in the community, in the end, here's the thing. Here's the most important thing. It's the IOP, it's the XRPL, and it's ODL, on-demand liquidity. And like we, like, uh, and like we uh, say on this channel, right, just pick one. And never forget Glenn Hutchins' words, guys. Never forget Glenn Hutchins' word. The value is in the protocol. The value is in the protocol. Don't forget that XRPL is also a decentralized, decentralized exchange as well. The value is in the protocol. And here's what he also added. Focusing on the token. Focusing on the token is distracting and, quite honestly, uninformative. So, guys, never, ever forget it. We all understand. We just talked about the UAE Bank using XRP using the Ripple Net and XRP for cross border remittance payments, right? This is the game changer. The partnerships continue to grow, they continue to expand, right? It, they just keep getting better and better. Santander just recently released their Paygo FX, which is, uh, you know, competing with TransferWise for cross border payments. Sent the chairman from Santander said that she's excited about things coming forward. She said, look for the announcement. But USD to Mexico with Ripple, right? So it's getting better and better. Never ever doubt what you hold. Just continue to do your homework and you do due diligence, and then you'll realize. Then you will ultimately realize that XRP is the champ. It is the standard. It is the chosen one. It is the chosen one, guys. So should I go over this article? I'll go over this article here briefly. Um, so this is Brandon Garlinghaus, I believe, is being quoted in here. Bitcoin using more electricity per transaction than a British household in two months. Wow, wow. So uh, around 98% of rigs mining Bitcoin will become obsolete before they achieve anything, experts warn. Wow, 98% of rig mining Bitcoin will become obsolete. Interesting. So just when Bitcoin transactions use the same amount of electricity as a British household for nearly two months, new figures have shown Again, guys, we talk about this. It seems like there, there is an intent. There's, an, there's a focused intent to dethrone Bitcoin and BTC. This just, it's just, it is what it is. Every time we, we, we hear the people from the World Economic Forum, IMF, Madame Lagarde, they're talking about climate crisis. They talk, it's a big concern. And if they get that what BTC is doing in terms of electricity, whether it be carbon emissions, whatever it is, it's an active, intentional uh, pursuit to dethrone agenda, I should say, to dethrone BTC, guys. It is what it is. The amount of energy needed to run the, the cryptocurrency has soared to record annual highs of 77.78 tera, terawatt hours, the same as the entire electrical consumption of Chile. That's going to be a problem, guys. The carbon footprint of a single transaction is the same as 780,650 Visa transactions or spending 52,043 hours watching YouTube, according to the calculations by Alex Breeze, a blockchain specialist at PwC. And again, PwC, Pricewaterhouse, they're not, uh, they love the digital asset space. I mean, they're working with uh, VeChain and they're working with, um, 
I think they're going to be start working with uh, Cardano Foundation as well. So, so for them to point out the flaws of BTC is significant again, right? Because they're outside this space. You and I were in the space. So for PwC to point out these flaws, these errors, these are just the facts. Again, it's, it seems like a concerted, intentional effort to dethrone BTC. People react with disbelief, but the figures are true, said Mr. D. Vries, who founded the Dig G Economist blog to highlight the impact. Again, a guy outside of the space, outside of the industry, there's this concerted effort to dethrone BTC, guys. It's just the way it is. The huge energy footprint of the currency was noted several years ago, but when the Bitcoin bubble burst in 2018, sending prices tumbling from a high of almost 20,000 at the end of 2017 to below 4,000, consumption also crashed and has only recently started soaring again. So guys, it, it, you know, it is what it is. You know, the Ripple key continues to expand the Ripple net and the network effect is beginning to take place. And it's really, really exciting to see what is going on. And so when you, when you look at what's happened with MoneyGram and what they're doing and uh, the massive success that they're having uh, with that partnership, and you look at what's going on with Bitso, it's really, 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 really exciting to see what is going on. XRP is the standard. It is the chosen one. If you don't get it yet, I encourage you to watch SPQR Media and watch Love for Crypto. Watch those videos. Dig deep. Do your homework. Do your own diligence so that you know that you know what it is that you hold. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to wrap up this video like I do all of my videos and remind you of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in, where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines here's what i do know that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours go get it i'll talk to you soon guys see ya